In my defense, this is the earliest I've been late. Besides, I've got a really good excuse this time. We already know about your botch vasectomy. He did go to a general practitioner. The price was right. He had a coupon. As you know, I do the end of the year corporate call, and here's the long and the short of it. We're gonna need to trim some fat around here. What about tomorrow's New Year's Eve party? Or cancel that. I'm taking away people's jobs. I'm not gonna take away their party. I'm not a monster. Yeah, seriously, he's not like a conniving, you know, motherfucking limp dick piece of shit asshole. Yeah, there was a lot of specific in that. Are you for real? Mr. Dugan does not have a sense of humor. Yeah, like that time last year that you joked there was an active shooter in the building. That was not a joke. That was a drill. And we got to use the first aid kit, so it actually worked for the drill. Mm -hmm. My resolution is to remain dick-free next year. Weird. I had that same resolution. Well, that confirms the rumors about you having no dick. Party! In an office. Yeah, in an office! There's no better way to describe what happened, but I think I was being stuck last night. By someone in all black? Like a crow costume? Me too. Only I wasn't stalked, I was chased. We got a house of horrors in there. Three or four dozen people dead. But there's no right way to say it. We got a serial killer on our hands. Hey buddy, you're not supposed to be in here this late. I don't know who you are. You have to come back during business hours. <laughs>